I'm very excited because uh, my predecessors have competed and they've told me how nice it feels, especially to go after level one and go into level two. So I think it would also be a very nice experience for me to join and also see how it's like. It excites me a lot because um, I feel like as a, as a girl, most of the time we are not chosen as this thing. Um, public figures to be presidents or something like that. So if I were to participate and I make good points, it will prove that um, as women we can also contribute a lot to the country. Our sanitation problems, the illegal mining problem, traffic jams, you could stay in traffic for about two hours and it's just horrible. It doesn't work that way and it just doesn't feel right. People are some people just don't like it. In Ghana, we have so many problems, and I think we, they should be fixed. That's the main reason why I want to write and be part of this literacy challenge. This will actually be my first time competing, so I want to see how well I'll do, and maybe next time improve on it. The Literacy Challenge, which was launched on Monday, May 24th, is a contest aimed at testing the writing abilities of junior high school students across the country as well as promoting literacy among the youth. The competition will be rolled out in three phases and in this first phase, participants are expected to pose as presidential candidates and in not less than 600 words, write a manifesto speech on how they intend to fix the country and bring hope to political governance. The winner of the challenge will walk away with 10,000 Ghana cities. All entries are expected to come in the participants own handwriting and must be endorsed by a parent or guardian with full contact details. Submission of entries can be done via PO Box GP14123 across Central or dropped off at the front desk of CTFM and CTTV at Adabraka. The deadline for submission is Friday, June 25, 2021. The Literacy Challenge is sponsored by SIC Insurance Public Limited Company. Let's go.